Culture Heads, what's poppin'? We're back again. Yes, sir. AnthemCulture.com. You already know. Log on on your computer, on your phone. Download the app. Make sure you download. Check out any app store, really, um, on any mobile device. And you'll probably be able to find Anthem Culture on there. So make sure you continue to download that. Share with a friend. Download link and stuff like that so they can check it out as well and stay updated on all the latest culture news. You already know we get culture news from all around the world. Any country that you want to know, any island, any continent, you name it, any town, village, city. Um, what else? I'm probably missing some stuff. But yeah, at theculture.com, we get all the news and information, culture news, man. You already know, music, art, food, fashion, literature, architecture, um, a bunch of good stuff. So all combined into one. You know, I like to just chill, kick back, flip through the news feed, see what we got popping around the world, what's happening. Um, it's been a lot going on. Actually, today is... um. Martin Luther King Day, so happy MLK Day. I don't know if people say that, but I actually ended up going to some event with my dad just to hear like a talk or something, so that was pretty cool. So I actually got like a late start on like a lot of work, so literally like right when I got back, I was like super tired, like I was up super early, super duper early <laughs> doing some stuff, but yeah, so like I've just been grinding like on the computer all day trying to make some things happen and ca catch up on some work, but um, you already know we stay on top of it. A lot of things to come, man. I just put out a song maybe yesterday, day before yesterday. Uh, what is it called? It is called... Let me look up on the phone. I actually forget. Only because I'll forget the name of it. Only because I was just listening to this new song that I'm about to put out in a couple days. Oh, so the one I just dropped is called Like That. So uh, let, me know, let me know what you guys think about that joint. I actually like, had a lot of fun recording that one. Um, and even this new record coming out as well. So literally right before I hit record on this podcast, I was just vibing out to it. And um, just has to go through like one more round of mixing and then I'm going to put it up there. You already know a, a brand new lyric video and stuff for those of you who want to learn English and read along with the amazing lyrics that I come up with. <laughs> so make sure you check that out. But for now, for the time being, make sure you check out what's already out and about on AnthemCulture.com, all on the social medias if you're following all of those. But um. We're about to jump into some news stories and see what we got going on. I know it's been a lot of big things when it comes to like films and stuff like that. So actually out in Azerbaijan, um, they have like a lot of different filmmakers that's like coming up, becoming real prominent. So one of the most popular music movies out that way um, is called Pomegranate Garden which is essentially a movie that takes place in this garden and it has like a lot of like significance. So um, the storyline is really just about um, a family coming out to this uh, this house which has a pomegranate uh, garden and then, you know, the plot thickens and stuff like that. And it's a lot of twists and turns how they just try to figure out life, balancing like the present and the past and stuff like that. So I got all of that just from reading the article. So I haven't seen a trailer or anything like that. So I hope that's what it's about. But if not, you could just read along for yourself on AnthemCulture.com and you could let me know uh, what it's about. It sounds pretty interesting, only because I like pomegranates. I used to drink the juice all the time for breakfast. It's really healthy. So shout out to pomegranates, man. Shout out to Pomegranate Garden. It's going to be screened out in Bulgaria at a film festival by the name of Sofia Menar Film Festival. So that's right in the headquarters and I mean, <laughs> in the capital of the country. They still call Capitals headquarters, but yeah, it's right in the uh, the 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 capital of the country, Sofia. Menard Film Festival is going to be screened there, and this film festival is really bringing together a lot of different films when it comes to like the Middle East, only because they really want to showcase the culture out that way and expose the people out in Bulgaria to a whole new side of life. So. This is one of the films that they're going to be screening, so the article talks about the film, the different people that was involved with it, and even more information on the uh, festival, which is being held in January, so it's coming up very, very soon if it's not already on. I don't see like a specific date for it, but make sure you keep up on, with that on AnthemCulture.com, and you can find out for yourself. So Google, um, so I'm, I'm not sure, like when I was actually like browsing for this story, it, I feel like it was tagged with UAE. So the United Arab Emirates. So I feel like the I read somewhere that this this section of the app was developed out there in Dubai or something like that. But Google um, it's a part of Google now, if anything. But Google has like a museum app where, you know, you can actually take a selfie and then it will go through its entire like database of just different artwork, sculptures, paintings, whatever it may be, and find your lookalike. 
So um, the article shows like a bunch of different examples of this. And uh, a couple of them look good, but a couple of them are like, okay, like it's really a stretch. I don't really think that looks like them, but it's kind of crazy just how you could analyze it. I mean, regardless of what it looks like, there are definitely uh, aspects of the photos where you could say like, okay, maybe the app was focusing on this section of the image and then it mapped it to the same section that was a part of one of their artworks in their catalog. So, I mean, it's pretty interesting how it's able to do that, but a lot of people are starting to do that. And even this shows you like a percentage match of how well the, the, the matchup image matches with your own image. So you're able to like find that information out, share right on your social media, right through the app. So that's definitely something interesting. If you're real big into taking selfies, you can see if you have a doppelganger from back in history that got painted. Hey, you could be like a muse that came back to life or something like that. So that's pretty crazy. I haven't done it yet, but just looking at these, it's like, wow, that's pretty cool how it works out. So let me know if you try it out. That'd be something dope. So um, yeah, check that right out on anthemculture.com. You get to check out the name of the app and um, download it and uh, submit the pictures or something like that. I want to see some of you guys uh, twins when it comes to the artwork world. <laughs> so this is a architecture story. Um, I really got attracted to about a picture, like the main header picture that was on the article and I was like, wow, that's beautiful. But it turns out the second tallest building in the world is in Shanghai, which is the Shanghai Tower. So shout out to China for putting together an amazing piece of architecture artwork, essentially, like towering in the sky. So it's a beautiful part of the skyline. But um, just looking at the pictures, you know, it, it's really really high and towers over everything and it makes me really want to go to Shanghai so um shout out to my brother he was out in China um summer 2017 so I told him I was like hey um we should definitely spend some time out in China because I want to get to learn the culture out that way learn the lingo a little bit the language practice that some so since he'd been there I said like hey you may as well come back out if you like since you liked it and uh, we could figure some things out figure out how to navigate out there so if he's listening to this we out in China at some point man let me know hit me up <laughs> at any time and we can pull up out there so um yeah but um so the article really just talks about like a lot of the different inspiration behind the building I know it's designed by this company called Gensler and um, they designed a, a bunch of other skyscrapers as well. So it talks about like the whole composition of it, um, the fact that it's literally everything comprised into this one tower, like uh, retail space, office space, hotel space, um, boutique outlets, and all the above <laughs> essentially in this. So it talks about how it was built, all of that good stuff, different things that's involved with the skyscraper as well. So if you're a big fan of architecture, I would definitely read it, but if you like, pictures and stuff like that i would definitely check out the article as well because it's really beautiful imagery of shanghai as well so makes you really want to go check that out a place like that so make sure you check that out on anthemculture.com let me know what you think of it um we have out in argentina this crazy fun festival called chamame festival 2018 that's filled with fun music dancing all of that good stuff so it's actually the 28th um, annual edition of it and it's actually a 10 day long festival which makes it the longest summer festival in uh, Argentina so I mean you have plenty of days to like celebrate and party it up <laughs> but um, they really take take into account like a lot of like um, traditional uh, dance forms traditional music and even like traditional costumes that they wear during the festival so it's really important when it comes to like preserving the heritage out in Argentina and um, even like some of the younger kids might not be exposed to that type of culture but um, once they like experience this festival and anybody that's out visiting Argentina you really get a sense of it so um, the article talks about like the various influences that it's had on um, on the culture that the, the various influences um, that the various other cultures that influenced <laughs> this uh, side of Argentinian culture and um, even just like uh, the amount of people is set to be like 1.5 million, so that's pretty crazy. So make sure you read more about that on anthemculture.com. You can check out some of the pictures as far as like the um, the sort of dress and like exactly what it looks like. So it looks pretty fun. I want I want to uh, swing out to Argentina and uh, pop into the festival just to see how it is in real life. So make sure you read more about that on anthemculture.com. You might see me pop up in some of the pictures from the upcoming years. So look out for that. <laughs>
out in where is this at? Um, Kurdistan. Oh, out in Iran, out in Te- Te- uh, Tehran. They're actually having this huge international music festival called the Fajr International Music Festival. It's held in Tehran, but it's actually paying homage during the well. The, the music festival essentially is like really popular, really huge. And it's um, this is another ten day festival. Like it's something about these festivals is super long, <laughs> but um, so you have like a lot of time to really enjoy like everything that they have to offer. But um, it says like on the third day they're actually going to be doing like a tribute um to some of the earth- earthquake victims that happened um a couple months back out in Kurdistan. So it's actually combining a lot of. Um, cultural aspects into it, blending in the Iranian culture with the Chinese culture. So they're actually having um, a lot of different performers from each one of these countries perform. So actually, like some of the the victims and some of the um, events that is paying homage to is actually um, from like cargo ships that were going out to China that ended up being lost. So all of that's old news as far as like 2017. But um, this is really shedding light onto that and just bringing awareness to it to this huge festival and really taking the opportunity to not only talk about some of the current events that happen out that direction, but also just to showcase a blending of the culture. So you have all of these different elements, whether it comes from just the different people that are uh, performing or even just like the different types of music that you'll eventually end up hearing at the festival. So it's definitely like a cool thing just to read about. Um, as far as like just the the culmination of um, the cultures and even just turning like a a negative thing into a positive aspect of it and adding it to like such a prestigious festival so just showcases the importance of all of this uh, wrapped into one thing so make sure you read more about that on anthemculture.com it's a great read but those are the stories we have today so once you finish that you know you could kick back relax listen to some of some of my music and um continue to check out the projects on anthemculture.com we got a lot of great content up there from like the music documentaries great photo shoots that i've been working on so lining up a lot of moves coming up over the next couple weeks couple months really just getting things in order staying focused all of that good stuff so you already know we got a lot more content coming up a lot more moves so always stay tuned to anthemculture.com um subscribe uh check out all of the um social media pages like follow whatever it may be or just send me a text holler at me and when you see me in the streets or something like that if you catch me in the airport on a plane just say what's up and uh we could chop it up about culture the whole flight <laughs> so that's all i have for you guys today though shout out to all the culture heads appreciate culture